Now, was there any city you went to and you thought, eh, the food's not really for me? I'm quite adventurous when it comes to food, mm-hmm. obviously, and I ate some weird stuff. In Sydney, we went to, into a Vietnamese area that had this Thai restaurant, and I ate a 17-day embryo egg. Um, so what does that look like? It, it's gross. Okay. Essentially, it's, <laughs> it's an egg that's been allowed to germinate for 17 days, and then they boil the entire thing, and then you crack it open, and depending on how quickly this, this duck you know, grows, you could have bits of beak and... Oh, it's like balut in the Philippines. Possibly. I've s- I, I'm it's familiar. It's fairly gnarly. Mm. Um, but I didn't really go to a certain place and, and not enjoy the food. I tasted everything, even if it grossed me out. What did the egg taste like? The yolky part was really rich, because obviously it's duck. And as you crack it open, it's got all the juice inside of it. And it's like a very intense um, poultry stock. But I couldn't get around eating the beak and the, the, whole the crunching and the... The whole thing. Yeah. So that was the most obscure f- food you tried on the show? I would say definitely I did not expect to eat that. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me about Bangkok. I've been to Bangkok and mm-hmm. I love the street food in Bangkok. Bangkok somehow... There's street food everywhere and, you, and it's one person doing one amazing thing and they almost don't need a menu and you can just tell who's the best because they'll have the longest line. Yeah. Um, and street food definitely played this huge part in, in the show. The one dish that really stands out for me is this guy had rice noodles that he deep fried, like proper deep fried and then put an egg in the middle. Okay. And so when you cut into it, and obviously then they had uh, vegetables and chicken, mm-hmm. and then you cut into the whole thing and then this egg yolk sort of yeah. clouded the entire dish. It was beautiful. That sounds so good. What I loved about Bangkok, Bangkok and surely you've noticed this as mm-hmm. well, the fruit is on a whole other level. They've got tropical fruit like you. Yeah. Like I battle to describe stuff, you know, like mango steens and Luki, Lukimot, Lokimot, they're like, like lychees, but oh, with those like... S- yeah, they're, but bigger, aren't they? They're a very similar size. Oh, I don't think I'm the thinking of the same thing. But everything was just amazing and so fresh and people are so friendly. Mm. Okay, so the show is 10 episodes. Mm-hmm. When does it air? The show is 10 episodes and it airs on SABC3 from April. Mm-hmm. And then it's Food Network from May, and that's in Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. Aren't you so excited, girl? <laughs> you finally have a TV show that's all yours. I know. And, like, celebrations? Did you celebrate <laughs> when you came back? What's going on? I don't... Do you know what? When we got back, there was still so much to do. We still had to edit, and we still had to do voiceovers. Mm-hmm. And then it all got packaged, and it just feels like we need to celebrate more all the time. You do need to celebrate more all the time. Maybe that will be tonight. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the episodes? Have you seen the fo- of course final, I have. the whole, the whole thing? You've seen the whole thing now. I was very part of the process from mm-hmm. uh, the conception of the idea through to uh, all the decisions in the show, mm-hmm. and I obviously did the voiceovers. So I've seen everything, and I'm just waiting for other people to see it and tell me what they think. Oh my now, I have to ask you about Dubai. Dubai just had a food festival, mm-hmm. and Food24 went over there, and they told us about all the delicious things they ate there, and their search for the camel burger was mm-hmm. the number one thing they did while they were there. Did you have a camel burger? I did not. I actually looked for camel, because I know that a traditional Emirati sort of dish is you get an entire camel, and you fill it with, with meat and rice and a bunch mm-hmm. of other stuff, but people don't really eat camel anymore. Did you guys find a camel burger? They did find a camel burger. What does it taste? I think it would be, would be lamby. Yeah, she said it was quite gamey. Like okay. gamey. Um, yeah, that's all she really said. She said okay. it, was, it was good and gamey. She's happy she tried it, but she wasn't sure that she would continue to eat it. Okay. <laughs> I think for me, Dubai, when you arrive, I expected it to just be sort of American consumer franchises. Mm -hmm. And I think you do have to dig a little bit deeper and go to the old areas of Dubai and then taste the authentic Emirati cuisine. Yeah. I love the food in Dubai, It's beautiful. I actually didn't spend much time there, only four days, but Mm -hmm. I ate a lot. (laughs) Definitely. I love the way they do lamb. It's all, Mm. they love cardamom. It's one of my favorite spices. Me too. It's beautiful.